Hello everybody, welcome back to the Loyal Maverick channel. It's me again, and as you can see, I still have on the same outfit because after I made that video, I was like, you know what? I'm telling them how to, you know, end the toxic, you know, friendship, but let me give some like tips on like finding out if this person is toxic or not, you know? So I'm gonna be giving you guys a few red flags, you know, that will determine if the friendship that you're in is toxic. So the first red flag is this person just kind of criticizes you a little too much and it's always negative. It seems like they never have anything positive to say about you, whether it be, oh, your hair or girl, you know, you don't need to be wearing that or girl, he don't want you or girl, you know, just things that like they try to make a joke like, ah, girl, da -da 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 -da. and then you just like, yo, that was kind of. That was a little shady what you just said there. And she's like, girl, I'm just playing. A lot of times people will cover up how they really feel with a joke. So if this person is like always kind of like putting you down, that's a sign that they definitely are a toxic friend. Another red flag is that this person just is always negative and when you talk to them, it just drains you. Like they, they always have a negative perspective. Whenever there's an issue or a problem, they always result to the most negative thing. And even when you try to bring light to it or when you try to like suggest something that's positive or something like solution-based, that can make whatever the situation is better, they just ignore it or they just, you know, don't care about it and just decide like, oh, don't nobody want to do that or don't nobody want to do that, that's this, but it's like they never have a positive solution or a solution at all to whatever it is that they're going through or to whatever it is that you guys are talking about. People who don't see a positive perspective or who just always have a negative point of view can be toxic and can create a lot of stress for you. So that's another red flag. Another red flag is just that they are always taking but not giving. They don't reciprocate, you know? So a person that always may be asking for money, oh, can I get a ride here? Oh, can you do this for me? Can you do that? But if you need it, they act like they can't do it or they act like it's a problem when you ask or they kind of have an attitude when you ask for things, then that's kind of toxic and that's just a relationship that's one-sided, you know? I feel like, you know, that... Even if I don't ask you for something, if you're my friend, you know, you should, you know, you know, think to at least, you know, offer something or do something nice for me when I'm always constantly doing it for you. Now, some people may say, well, you can't just read somebody's mind or that's kind of passive. If you want something, you need to ask for it. But if I'm a person to where I, I know that you, you need help with rent or if you did something for me or if you took me somewhere, naturally... I'm going to just do something for you. I'm going to give you a little gas money or I'm going to pay for something for you, especially if you have done it for me before. It's just reciprocation. I just feel like it's common sense in a real friendship, like when a person is really your friend. But if a person just doesn't have a, the right heart and they just always take advantage because they know that they can or because you've allowed them to run over you, that's a red flag and I don't think that that person should be in your life. I don't think you deserve that type of treatment. So I would definitely consider that a red flag for sure. Another red flag is that they talk a lot about people to you, right? So I know for a lot of people, they're like, "How? Do, what does that have to do with me? They're talking about this other person. They're not talking about me. I highly mm, doubt that they are not talking about you. If they're sitting here telling you somebody else's life story, talking all this negative talk about somebody, I'm 100% sure that they have talked about you behind your back and in a negative way. If you're around them and you're around other people too and they act a little funny when the other people are around and they don't really say much to you, that's a clear sign that they're just not really a good friend or that they're just like maybe an associate. You wouldn't even or shouldn't even call them a friend because a real friend is going to act the same and be the same no matter where y'all all or what environment that you're in. So if you see them start changing or if they constantly talking about somebody, or they just gossip a lot. That's just toxic in general. Just for somebody to always have their mind set on somebody else and their business, but you're not, you know, being productive with your life or with the conversation. How is this conversation helping us? How is this conversation going to get me somewhere better than where I am? Whether that be mentally, whether that be financially, whether that be physically. How is this helping me? And why are we talking about them? This is not doing anything for us. You know, that's that's toxic. To me, that's toxic. It's just it's just unnecessary, unnecessary energy spent, period. So another sign of a toxic friend is somebody who is always basically peer pressuring you. Now, if this person is supposed to be your friend and they know that you don't like to go in certain environments or they know that 
you don't like to do certain things and for valid reasons like you don't like to smoke because you don't like you just don't like to smoke and you don't want to smoke cigarettes because it messes messes your body up you know or if you don't want to go out clubbing because it's just annoying and it's pointless and you don't see the point in going or if you don't like to do whatever if somebody's always pressuring you to do stuff and they know it's going to have a negative effect on you or whether it be drinking like you don't like to get drunk but they're like girl come on let's turn up quit playing you know you just wanna you know you wanna uh, whatever like if they are like that and if they're always pressuring you to do all these things that are not going to like benefit your life or that's that's harmful to you which is what toxic means it's just something that's harmful i think that you should consider that and you know even talk to them like hey you know this is something that's you know bother me I don't like to do this and you keep telling me to do this you keep asking me to do this and you know I don't want to do it I feel like you're not respecting you know my wishes or you're not respecting the transition that I'm trying that I'm trying to make in my life if they can't respect that and if they call you lame or if they say uh well girl whatever then what is fine like if they have an attitude or they are negative towards you about it about a wish that you have about something that you're trying to do to actually make yourself better that's toxic and that's another red flag all right guys so that's it for my red flags if you want to hear about more red flags then just leave a comment below and i'll be more than happy to make another video to point out those red flags for you um and if you know of any red flags and you want to be helpful to people who may come across this video and who may just want you know more signs of those red flags so they can really evaluate if they should let this person go out of their life then go ahead and leave a comment below and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, again, leave them below. So if this video was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button and share it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the Lawyer Maverick family. I'd love to have you. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and questions and just recommendations for any videos in the future. So again, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.